Hey hi hello namaste welcome to CR NT designers this is Chetan and this is an experimental hard surface modeling tutorial to achieve a certain result with the right method so now let's get started so we will start with a cylinder so shift a and then add a cylinder and we can go with a less word something 16 and then you need to rotate it into the 90 degree and then scale it along the y axis just use this s and then x to scale it along the y axis then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree and make sure it should be the perpendicular to the last one. Then take it little bit up along the Z axis and give the proper position to that cylinder and then scale it down along the Y axis. Something like this you can do. Then select these two parts and we will use the boolean operation. But before that you need to add the proper lookers according to the underneath cylinder which is the perpendicular to the this one. So according to that just add a loop cuts on your model and then select select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize choose the proper axis for the symmetry simple thing after that you need to select these two parts and use the boolean operation which is the union so just we want to combine them together so that's why i have used that union boolean operation and now you can see we got this kind of mesh in which two objects are joined together and now we need to work on its topology so that's why you need to merge the words like this and we need to create a core based topology so we can give the right edge flow and we will get a good shading so just select these faces and delete these unnecessary faces we will uh, fill these gaps later on after that you need to merge the words like this and try to create a core based topology so if I merge the words like this, then I will lose its edge flow. So keep it as it is still and start to add the loop cuts like this and do simple same uh, steps first upon. So just select these words, right click and then connect vertex bar. So add one more loop cut here and then you need to select it, select these words and right click and then connect vertex bar. And just select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide or you can move it along the x-axis with the move tool then select these faces and delete them con x and then delete okay something like this you got just add one more loop cut here then we can take a symmetry so just add a loop cut so control r to add a loop cut and then select everything a for this to select everything and then just move it little bit and give the proper position at the 3d cursor and then you can set it origin to the geometry or make 3d cursor and then select everything and then make symmetry choose the proper axis for the symmetry okay that's fine you need to choose the proper axis for the symmetry and it will take a time you need to uh, change the ultra different axis to get that proper one okay now you can see the words are merged together and there it is creating the triangles on the mesh and we don't want any kind of triangles on this particular mesh so we will get the weird result if we have the triangles so that's why we need to edit this topology but before that take a symmetry so we can start to work on it and i like to take the symmetry every time so i can understand it easily so that's another reason of taking the symmetry every time after creating the single single steps so you won't get confused more then select this word and then merge them so press M to merge them at the center press M and then select option merge at the center merge at the last anyone whichever you will prefer okay after that you need to add the loop cuts like this but before dissolve these edges and you can see it is creating the triangles at there so that's why you can use your knife tool and create a loop because we want a loop around this particular cuts like uh, then joining parts so we will get the right core based topology and we can add the number of loops and we will get the good shading also so that's why you need to use the knife tool k for the knife tool and select the first point select the second point select this next point and then to complete that operation press enter or space bar simple thing and then select everything mesh and then symmetrize then select these words and then right click and then connect vertex path and you can see we got a loop little bit but here is a little bit of problem so just add a one 
words at their control R and you can add the words then select these words right click and then connect vertex bar and just resolve these triangles means these edges which are creating the triangles at there okay something like this you can do easily and then select everything mesh and then submit rights simple then if I add the loop cuts like this then select these words and then right click and then connect to vertex path and try to create a chord based topology so that's why we need to remove the triangles okay and now you, you need to merge the words like this. So select these two words and then press M to merge them at the center. And now you can see the topology is like a chord based topology a little bit but somewhere we are facing the triangles. So you can use the knife tool to avoid those triangles and create a cut like this. Then select everything mesh and then submit right. And now just we need to work on these triangles and we need to find out the solution to avoid these triangles. So how you can find out? So just add a loop cut here. And then one more time take the symmetry. To the another axis like uh, it is in the Z X axis. Then just dissolve these edges. Okay, so if we dissolve that loop cut, we are not getting any kind of triangle at there. So this is uh, this is a simple way to avoid such kind of triangles. Okay, then dissolve that loop cut. And now we are getting the good topology on our model. So that then you need to add the loop cut. Just dissolve some words are there, which are little creating a little bit of difficulty so make sure you have the right topology on your model so you will get the code shade so select everything mesh and then submit rights and choose the proper axis you need to take the symmetry from both x and y axis so you will get the same result and you can reduce your efforts and now you can see that's look good just add a loop cut like this and then scale it S and then Y and scale it along the Y axis and give the value 0. And same thing here, scale it S then X and give the value 0 to scale it along the X axis and move it a little bit. Then select everything mesh and then submit rights. Okay, now that's look good. Then add a subdivision surface modifier. You need to add that subd modifier and increase the viewport level counts up to two. And now you can see we are getting the good shading. Just shade smooth it, and you can see the shading. We are not facing any kind of problem with the shading and with the topology. Then just I will create a quickly fill these gaps and I will create a little bit of design at there. So just it should look good so that's why you need to create some kind of design on it with the right topological methods you can create in any kind of booleans and you can give the right shading for them and right form to those kind of look uh, models
So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe my YouTube channel. If you have any questions related to the hard surface modeling, then you can ask me. I will try to answer your questions. So bye bye. See you in the next video. Take care.